So, uh, uh, an anonymous uh, gentleman or uh, lady asked me, why do you think people want to be famous for something that people hate? I was re-watching your Fun With Hate Mail video, and in it you mentioned that people always write fake hate mail to you in hopes that you'll pick on them and they'll get a minute of infamy. And it got me thinking about why people actually want people to hate them on the internet. Trolls on YouTube and the like always seem to take great pride in having people get mad at them. Is that part of human nature, or is it new? You know, I don't know if, if those concepts are necessarily mutually exclusive, because um, the way we organize our societies now is, is in itself new. So a lot of human behaviors have emerged as a result of this um, new social structure, um, but that doesn't mean they weren't inherent. It's just that they uh, either didn't manifest uh, previously when we were organized into um, uh, more of a hunter-gatherer dynamic, or they manifested in, a, in, in different ways. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is that compels people to necessarily um, uh, seek out the villain role, but I mean, I do it myself to an extent. I mean, um, when I'm when I made that video about the hate mail, I, I was advertising the fact, hey, look at how much I'm hated. So, I mean, I'm really no better than the person I was making fun of there. I'm just bigger. You know, I, I, uh, I've gotten to the point where uh, a lot of people like me, sure, and uh, a lot of people hate me. It's just that the people who like me tend to stick around. The people who hate me, most of them move on. But some of them stick around, too. Some, sometimes uh, haters can be the most dedicated followers, and, um, and they're the ones uh, that, they, you know, watch every video and, and let you know how stupid you are how everything you how how you're not as smart as you think you are everything you say is wrong um you're totally misguided your your principles are shit and you look horrible and blah 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 you know they'll stick around and remind you of all that and um and i guess that i guess we prob I, I guess that probably the reason why i would go and, and show off the hate mail is just because at a certain point it just becomes um, amusing. You know, the first few times you hear that kind of shit, you, you think to yourself, um, you know, it, it is kind of hurtful. But, you know, as time progresses and you hear it all the time, you just start to think it, it's kind of funny that someone w would waste their time hating you. And I, I guess that it's probably um, s the motivation for at least some of the internet trolls that it just amuses them that they can elicit an emotional response from someone on the internet just by, uh, you know, typing in something stupid, you know, just you know, let, I'm going to get on the internet and act dumber than I really am, or I'm going to get on the internet and I'm going to, you know, uh, tear someone apart. I'm going to attack uh, this person or this institution. And then when, when other people are mad at them, uh, it just amuses them. Like, oh, look at the power I have over you. Look at how I made you feel. Um, you know, so I guess in, in that respect, maybe it's something like... Uh, a psychic assault to to show some sort of supremacy, like oh, you know, I made you mad because I uh, because I'm higher up than you. I have uh, this power over you where I can control your emotional state, but you can't control mine. You know, you have no ability uh, for any sort of reprisal because I'm just this anonymous internet troll. Um, now, obviously, I'm not an anonymous internet troll, so I, I, I do have to worry about reprisal to an extent. But maybe that, but in my case, you know, I'm already bombarded with hatred, so uh, I'm pretty much free to say whatever I want because um, as long as I don't piss off the people who actually do like me, I've always got them. 
So any other group of people that hates me, that doesn't matter. So I might as well learn to enjoy it because uh, if I didn't enjoy it, it would just what my my only res- the only things I can do in response to hate is either I can um, become dejected by it, which is not productive um, whatsoever. It's uh, it's not going to do anything for me. It's not going to serve any greater purpose. Um, it, it's it's actually going to be to my detriment. Uh, I could react neutrally or, or, or not react at all, um, which is typically what I do. Or I could put a spotlight on it and make fun of it, um, which which I guess does kind of make me feel like I have some power over the situation. Like, look, I'm above this person who's trying to get this rise out of me. But of course, in doing that, that person who was trying to get the rise out of me will just assume that I'm just doing that as a front because what they said really did get to me. So it leaves them just as satisfied as I am. You know, I'm satisfied because I think I'm like, ah, look how above them I am. And then they're satisfied because they're like, ah, look, I secretly got to him. Um, it, 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 it really just kind of highlights how... Um, pathetic most human beings are when it comes to this sort of thing, I guess.